Hey fellow Minecrafters, it's Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, bringing you another video. Today we're going to geek out a little bit. 1.9 has been released and the texture packs are just now starting to come out. Uh, so there are a couple of things I want to do and I thought I might show you how to do that. So today um, I'm going to show you what I've been playing Minecraft as. Uh, I had I had found one of the earlier adopters uh, who had a 1.9 texture pack. So I've been using that, but my favorite, Chroma Hills, has got a release now that I'm going to go update. Uh, so if you're ready, come on, let's get started. Okay, before we jump right in, I thought I'd show you a couple of things that uh, you might not be aware of. You can play Minecraft across multiple versions. Uh, I know some of the servers are not updated yet. Uh, I have some testing servers that I'm working on for my own plugin development. Um, one of my original servers is still on 1.8.8. .8. So there is a way using the launcher that you see before you uh, to... It is the launcher, right? You are seeing this? Yeah? Hope so. Uh, there is a way using the launcher to play different games. So I'm going to show you uh, what I've done and show you then how to do that. So you'll notice when you start the launcher, on the left-hand side is a set of profiles. The profile is a place where you can select which element or, or which person you want to play as. And each profile can be defined to play a specific version of Minecraft. So what I've done here, let's, let's do this again. We'll, we'll add a new one. So I'm on Minecraft Grand now. And if I click New Profile, it'll make a copy of that one, and then I can name it whatever I want. So I'm actually going to create one called Minecraft Grand 1.8.9, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll select that release from the used version, and it'll then start for this profile, profile Minecraft Grand 1.8.9, it'll start this profile using that version of the game. So you can see it now in here, 1.8.9. So if I click play, you're going to see how, it, how, uh, how I had it set up originally. And this is where I've done a lot of the recordings, uh, except that I, I am for right now, because of what we're recording, I am doing this not full screen. So let me just do that. So let me jump in and show you. Uh, let's refresh the list. As you can see, Cherry Vanilla, one of the servers I've been playing on, is on the Spigot 1.9 uh, plugin release, or, or Minecraft release. Uh, my own personal server, a new server that I'm setting up, it's not yet open to the public, so don't ask, but it will be soon. Um, this server is running 1.8.9 currently. I do intend to update that. Um, Archimon, which you've seen me play, is also on 1.8.9. Uh, my original server, the one that my grandkids and I play on, that's on 1.8.9. And data server, data list uh, 822, is still on 1.8.9. So as you can see, really, uh, I, I have several options here under that one profile. Now let's close this, minimize this, and let's start my test server. Uh, this is a server I set up because I'm writing some plugins for... Uh, my my virtual world my you know I want to be able to open it to the public but I've got to I've got to prepare a few things and I I want to make things as easy as to manage as possible on myself so uh, <laughs> I'm writing some plugins to help me with that so now if we refresh you see that that is also on Spigot 1.9 okay so I hope this is clear from here I can jump into any one of these servers that are not in red. In order to get into one of the ones in red, I do have to change my profile to point to the correct version of Minecraft. Now, I have been playing 1.9, and I'm not a big, huge fan of the combat update. Um, to me, switching hands is just, I don't know, it's a bit weird. Um, you only can use what's in your right hand if... You know, the thing you're holding doesn't have a right menu. I, I, I don't know. It just gets too confusing. So, frankly, I don't really play with that. Uh, but I have been uh, on the Cherry Vanilla server, and I have created a new base. I've begun things, and um, one of the things that I've noticed... Here, why are we not... Uh, there we go. One of the things I've noticed is, you know, frankly, gameplay looks like crap. Uh, pardon my French kids. Um, let me show you what it looks like. Now, you may be playing... 
default, which is what this is. Let me show you what this looks like. So we're just looking around. This is my hobbit hole. This is default, okay? Got some stairs going down. Got some food in here, okay? This is default. Looks like, you know. Let's just look around here for a second. Okay, so I, I have been playing. Let me switch it to a resource pack that uh, Pure BD Craft put out. So let me pull that one in. Give it a second to load. Okay, so this is the same place using BD Craft. It has kind of a cartoony feel. Um, there is some animation in here that's really nice. Here, just go look at the food again. So, you know, kind of nice, but uh, a little bit of a cartoony feel. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the cartoony feel if you're playing a game. Um, I, but I really liked Chroma Hills. If you've seen my other videos, you know what Chroma Hills looks like. You know why I like it. Uh, here, let's take this over and put it in my sorter, which I will show you sort shortly. I apologize for any enunciation issues. Uh, I have had nine teeth pulled and some dentures put in, so I am working around a, a little bit of a, mm, let's say, a um, deficit, a, a challenge. We'll, we'll go with that, okay? So this is, like I said, this is uh, pure BD craft. Now, while I like it, I really like my Chroma Hills, but as you can see, Chroma Hills isn't available for this version. It's, it's made for an older version of Minecraft. So what I want to do is show you now how to go get that that newer update. So let me let me minimize all this. I have opened a couple of windows. I have um, a place where I'm going to download it to, and I have a place where I need to install it from. Now on the left is you know where where I put all my texture packs that I download. Um, I, I like to keep things organized. I did mention I was a geek, right? So over here on Google, let me let me show you how um, I would recommend going about getting Chroma Hills for 1.9. So I did a search for Chroma Hills 1.9, found this link, scrolled down, found the download link. Now please note. Uh, this next link that I'm going to click is an AdFly link. Uh, sorry, here it is for 1.9. Uh, if you want one of the prior versions, if you like this and you want it to play it with one of your prior versions, they're down here. But this one right here is for 1.9. I'm going to download the zip, and and this is what I was mentioning. This is AdFly, so don't be don't be fooled. This is an ad, okay? And until this yellow bit right here pops up. Um, anything you click on is you're clicking on the ad. So skip the ad. Important security message. Please call the number provided. Yeah. So they're, they're going to try and talk you into doing that. So I'm opening Chroma Hills. I want to save it. And I'm going to save it to my downloads, Minecraft mods, texture packs. So I'm going to place it right here. Now it is, what was it, 128 meg? So it will take just a moment to download. Uh, oh, look, it's done. Okay. I have a fast internet. What can I tell you? So it's right here, the 1.9 version. And where I need it is in my Minecraft resource packs. Now, if you don't know how to get here, let me show you a quick way. Type in at any folder, percent app data percent. And that'll take you to your app data, where you can find .minecraft. Under .minecraft, look for resource packs. This is where we want to put it. So I'm just going to drag this from here to here. Now, because it's on different drives, this is F and this is C, it did uh, copy it rather than move it. If on your computer they're both C, then click dragging and dropping will move it from one location to another. So be advised. Uh, if you want to copy, not move, right-click, drag, and when you release, choose copy. So that's a little little tip, little geeky tip there for you. Okay, so now that it's in this folder, when I restart Minecraft, 
Let's go do that. It should be available to me in in one of the worlds that I've selected. So I'm hopping on in. Okay, this is, like I said, pure BD craft. Uh, let me show you what some of the um, redstone looks like. So this is the beginning of my sorter room. Just so you know. Yikes! Okay, this is what hoppers and all that looks like. So now let's switch it over to the new Chroma Hills. Now you'll notice it placed it on top. Let me explain the orders of precedence and why they're here. Not all texture packs contain all 400 images. So what happens is you're, you're given default by default. You start with that. When you place a texture pack or a, a resource pack on top of that, it'll use that texture pack for all the images that are present. For any that are missing, it'll fall back to default. So by placing Chroma Hills on top of BD Craft, on top of default, it'll use Chroma Hills for everything that has an image, but if any are missing, it'll try to find it in BD Craft, and if it's missing from there, then it'll go to default. Goodness, we have a rainstorm. Now, I know from working with Chroma Hills that they have 99% of the images. So I'm going to leave this here. It doesn't really impact me significantly, but I have a pretty beefy computer. If you are noticing some slowdown, do try removing all texture packs you're not using. That may help. Okay, so this is Chroma Hills texture pack. Let me walk around and show you all this. See, a little bit different feel. I really like this feel a lot better. So, got, got some eggs stacking up. Let's go take a look upstairs. So, this is cobblestone. This is stone brick. Uh, I just, boy, I like the Chroma Hills. Okay, so, basically, that's it. We've geeked out. We have replaced a uh, resource pack. Now, you don't have to use Chroma Hills. I, I chose to, but you don't have to. Um, there are others, though not many, that are out there um, that you can you can select from. Just do a Google search. Make sure that it's for your version of Minecraft. And if it's not, don't worry. It will tell you, like this, that it's not compatible with the version you're trying to run. So if that's the case, or you want to run a different version of Minecraft, remember what I showed you. You can choose a different profile on your way in. Right here. Okay, so I hope that's helped. This has been Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, geeking out with you on Minecraft. Stay tuned for the next video. Until then, happy mining. <laughs> yeah, happy mining. No, no, really, happy mining. No, go on now. Come on, happy mining. That's my cue. Bye.